How do you summarize the career of one of the world's leading biomedical scientists? Do you talk about some of the incredible contributions he's made to virology, immunology, and cancer research? Or do you talk about the institutions he's built, the people he's mentored, or the decades of advocacy for science and society? Or do you just forget about all that stuff and just talk about how he likes to fish? This is David Baltimore. David Baltimore once said that the best background you can get for biology is chemistry. And that's because he's interested in the chemistry of life. That's the sea of molecular interactions that gives rise to you and me. By focusing on this, he hopes to gain a better understanding of what life is, how it works, and what to do when things go wrong. And this led him to studying animal viruses early in his career. He knew that the study of bacteria-killing viruses known as bacteriophages had led to insights into the genetics of bacteria, and he hoped to do the same in animals. He was right, because he co-discovered an unusual viral enzyme called reverse transcriptase. This was a big deal because it challenged the perceived wisdom that gene expression passes information in a single direction. But this enzyme demonstrated that it could be passed backwards from an RNA template to DNA. Baltimore's work on reverse transcriptase and its role in retrovirus replication would be vital in developing antiviral drugs to combat diseases such as HIV. Oh, and this was all before he hit the age of 40. He was just getting started. In the years to follow, he uncovered the role of NF-kappa B in inflammation. His lab discovered how the RAG recombinase genes mediate antibody variation, and his work on the Abelson virus tyrosine kinase led to greater understanding of chronic myeloid leukemia. During his career, Bolsonaro also campaigned for greater research support to tackle the AIDS epidemic and led discussions about recombinant DNA and the ethics of new genetic technologies. His work is now heavily invested in a bench-to-bedside philosophy, which aims to translate scientific research into clinical outcomes, from novel drugs and gene therapies to one day producing a vaccine for HIV. And if there's time after all of that, maybe catch a few more fish. <laughs>